Do you like music? Everyone does, of course, even though our preferences vary. Many musical instruments work because of resonance. A plucked guitar string causes the soundboard to resonate, resulting in sound we enjoy. When the guitar string is plucked, it automatically returns to its resting position. However, it moves to the opposite position because of momentum. Then it again returns to the resting position. So momentum causes the string to oscillate back and forth. In physics, resonance occurs in an oscillating system. In a harmonic oscillating system, the mean frequency represents the value above and below which the system oscillates. A typical harmonic oscillation produces a sine wave, characteristic of simple harmonic motion. So how does a harmonic oscillating system, such as a guitar string, result in resonance? Think of a child being pushed on a swing. Resonance is due to increasingly greater displacement after an initial displacement. So if the swing is pushed at just the right intervals, the regular pushes will increase the displacement or amplitude of each successive swing. In this case, the swing acts as a pendulum, which has a natural frequency. If a harmonic oscillator is pushed at a frequency that matches its natural frequency, the oscillations will build up, resulting in a large amplitude of oscillations. Resonance occurs when a harmonic oscillator vibrates at its natural frequency. If you rub the rim of a wine glass at the correct speed, you can match the natural frequency of the glass. When the rubbing speed is just right, the action sets up large oscillations that we hear as sound waves. The glass acts as a natural oscillator because you are rubbing the rim at its natural frequency. A harmonic oscillator can induce vibrations in another harmonic oscillator of the same frequency. If two tuning forks of the same frequency are mounted near each other, one will vibrate when the other is struck. Resonance also ensures we can hear only one radio station when we tune in. By tuning the radio, you match the frequency of incoming radio waves, which builds up oscillations in the receiver. The radio amplifies the tuned signal but ignores others, ensuring you listen only to the tuned station. One of the reasons we listen to the radio is for music. String and wind instruments rely on the creation of standing waves, which result when two waves meet traveling in opposite directions. A standing wave occurs when a wave meets its reflection at the resonant frequency. You can demonstrate a standing wave with a slinky. If you hold the slinky at one end and move the other end as shown, the spring moves up and down. If you increase the speed of the movement, the spring will move in waves, where the nodes remain fixed while the peaks and troughs between them vibrate with the maximum amplitude at the anodes. The wave and its reflection reinforce one another to create a large vibration at a particular frequency. When this happens with sound waves, an audible sound is heard at particular pitch. This is the musical note heard from the instrument. When a musician blows a note on a flute, the length of the air column in the instrument determines the frequency of the standing waves that can occur. By changing the length of a string or column, the musician changes the frequencies, which we hear as different notes. This is what happens when a violinist presses a finger on a string, or a flutist presses a key on the flute. Several musical instruments have more complex ways to make notes. Listen to a pipe organ, bagpipes, or a saxophone. In these instruments, you can hear several simultaneous pitches. The various pitches result from multiple standing waves within the air column of the instrument, a phenomenon called harmonics. This phenomenon determines the timbre or quality of an instrument's sound. Harmonic oscillations don't occur only in musical instruments. Many kinds of electrical devices rely on harmonic oscillations, such as loudspeakers and other electrical devices. In a medical magnetic resonance imaging device, or MRI, a strong magnetic field causes protons to line up. When a radio wave of a specific wavelength is added to the magnetic field, the magnetism is deflected. This radio wave frequency causes the hydrogen nuclei of protons to resonate. When the radio wave is switched off, the magnetic field returns to its resting state, giving a signal detected by the instrument. The strength of the signal depends on the composition and type of tissue, allowing visualization of the body's internal organs.